Severe tropical storm Man Yi slammed into central Japan during the early morning hours on Monday morning, September 15th. 2013. This footage I actually shot near uh, Jagoshima or on Jagoshima in Miyota, Japan, south of Tokyo by about 100 kilometers per hour. Actually, really close to Yokosuka, Japan, where I know a lot of our viewers are at. Uh, waves there were breaking up to about 10 meters high in some of these locations, but also it wasn't just the winds coming ashore, which max winds from the storm rate around 120 kilometers per hour. But what else we saw was this extreme extremely heavy rainfall. And this footage I actually shot here in uh, Tokyo, Japan on the Tamagawa River. The river was started overflowing, but this was nothing compared to what was actually happening farther down towards the south into Kyoto, where, uh, well, numerous reports of flooding, nearly 580 millimeters of rainfall fell in one location there on the uh, key peninsula, a very serious uh, flood threat, and also one death has been reported as a result of the storm. Several people are still missing, over 100 injuries as well. So the storm, even though it was a severe tropical storm at landfall, it still had a pretty big impact here across Japan. And that is why I always say take these storms very seriously. Even if it is just a severe tropical storm, it still could well pose that threat of flooding. The landslide was the reason why uh, we had one casualty there. Somebody's home was uh, well destroyed by a landslide. And also, well, we just do have these high waves and gusty winds near the coast. So um, what is going on now? Well, money quickly rushing off there towards the northeast, but there's a good chance you clicked on this video because you wanted to see uh, what was happening next. Tropical storm Usagi down here towards the south, continuing the roll off there towards the west. Usagi is going to be a major threat to the Philippines, and even if it does not have a direct impact on the coastline, what we're going to be seeing is that moisture inflow, that monsoonal enhancement, and well, the heavy rainfall expected over the next several days. And you've already been seeing that here. And I mean, you have been sending me photos out of the central Philippines uh, for the past several days now just showing that heavy rainfall continuing to come down and we can see the overall background flow here on the southern periphery those lines continue to stream from west towards east that is going to be that enhanced monsoon now where is the storm going to be going well if you watch my updates before you follow this overall background flow to kind of see where it's going to be headed next now right here we can see these lines on the northern periphery kind of jetting off here towards the north moving out there towards Luzon Strait but it's not exact and you have this big gap right here ahead of it so what we are seeing is kind of a discrepancy in between a few of the agencies. JMA actually wants to keep it farther towards the south. JTW Suisse switches it off there towards the north. Most of the models do expect a little northerly churn with this though. So first let's take a look at the official agency for the Western Pacific. Tropical Storm Usagi from the Japan Meteorological Agency. Currently they have winds at 35 knots, gusting up to 50. 1000 HPA moving, well, nowhere. Stationary. That's another thing that makes it kind of hard to predict when they don't have this forward movement that you can kind of just prog off of. But right here, starting to pick up pace westerly very slowly, but they do keep it farther towards the south. Maxing out winds at 70, gusting up to 100 knots. That definitely, if it does stay on this track, is going to be a big wind maker for Opari. A lot of the areas right there on northern Luzon. But once again, it is just that monsoonal inflow continuing to wrap around that storm. I do think a very serious flood threat through the coming days there across much of Luzon and northern Visayas. Now this is the five-day outlook from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. They also expected to max out actually right around 90, gusting up to 110 knots before it starts to impact the uh, southern portions of Taiwan here and then continue to push off there towards southeastern China beyond five days. So a lot of time to watch uh, where this is going to be going if it does impact that area. But the main impact with this is still going to be that monsoonal flow. But the heavy rain out here. Remember last time you saw that really incredible footage of the uh, rock sliding down the hill. I'll put the link in the description below if um, you did not see that. And that was caused by a tremendous amount of rainfall in Taiwan. Well, it does look like if it does take a track like this, which a few of the models do think so, then it, that would occur. But take a look at Pegasa now. They also expect it to follow a very similar track as 
JMA. So, um, yeah, a big cone of air on this. Everybody from Taiwan down towards northern Luzon, I think that you really need to just watch this very closely, especially those in northern Luzon in uh, the extreme southern portions of Taiwan out here. Uh, there is a pretty big potential of typhoon strength winds coming ashore here, uh, not just in the next week or so, but we're talking about the next 72 hours. Now, key thing on where exactly this is going to be going is this high pressure ridge farther off there towards the north. You can see this big clear air slot over much of southern Japan and that's that migratory high that raced in behind Man Li as it pushed off there towards the north and now it's just sitting down there. Uh, brought in much cooler weather, jacket weather across much of Korea and Japan today. Well, um, what that is going to be doing is going to act as a block keeping our storm farther towards the south. Now, where this is going to be over the next several days depends on if this is going to continue to track due west into northern Luzon or if it'll make a little bit of a jog out there towards Taiwan. Taiwan. I want to make this very, very clear. If you are still watching this and you are from Okinawa, no, it is not going to hit you. Um, I know that every time we have a storm near here, I usually get about 100 questions asking, is it going to impact this Okinawa? At this time, there's no information that leads towards that. You probably are going to see some high waves out here, uh, some feeder bands pushing through, but a full-fledged typhoon seems very unlikely there towards uh, Okinawa Hanto. Okinawa Prefecture still could see some typhoon strength winds. We're talking about Miyakojima and Ishigaki farther down there towards the southwest. So with that said, let's take a gander at a few of the models here. This is the ECMWF going ahead through well Wednesday into Thursday as we uh, continue to scroll ahead and our storm starts to rapidly intensify looking ahead by Thursday afternoon just off the northeastern coast of Luzon those well the winds are really picking up a well-defined eye in here by this time it does look like it should be right around typhoon strength even push ahead farther into what, Friday during the early morning hours starting to push there towards the Luzon Strait Best case scenario is this would just row through the Luzon Strait for Taiwan and the northern Philippines. Unfortunately, that would just put it off into the direction of southeastern China, including Hong Kong and Macau. Bring a pretty good impact there. But in this scenario, picked up by the ECMWF, it does slam into well, southern portions of Taiwan. And this is a GFS model output, very similar outcome, just with a larger wind field. And much of northern Luzon actually gets spared the worst of it, as it does make that turn just slightly farther there towards the north during the last several frames of this model. But one thing, once again, it, it makes that turn towards the north. But I want to pull up the MSL here for the same time period going into Friday during the early morning hours. Take a look farther down there towards Manila. Look at this moisture stream pushing across here. That is going to result in flooding. So you're going to see a flood threat here and much of the Philippines. And even indirectly, but somewhat directly associated with it. Now let's continue to scroll. Now we're looking at Thailand, Cambodia, and uh, well, over there towards Myanmar. Look at that moisture stream flowing across here as well. Into Bangkok, you could be seeing some very heavy rainfall as well. So far-reaching uh, effects from this storm system. If you combine in that monsoonal flow and say it's all one part of the same storm. So yeah, with that said, my thoughts, if it wasn't for this high pressure area off here still lingering in that area and you can still see that ridging somewhat down here, I would say this storm is going to make a little bit of a jog towards the north. We also have a tropical depression there in the South China Sea that's going to be kind of pulling in our tropical storm as well, Usagi. So with that said... Um, I may have to go against some of the models. I think this is going to stay a little bit farther down there towards the south. I think Northern Luzon should still watch this very closely. But with the model consensus, um, Southern Taiwan it, it still really needs to continue to keep a close eye on it. So, uh, really everybody that if you can see Luzon straight, you definitely want to watch this storm uh, across much of Central and uh, portions of the Philippines and even off there towards the north. Severe flood threat here for you. And then Southeastern China. I know we didn't dive in on it, but it's still long range. Uh, there's a very good chance of this storm impacting you as well. So a lot going on out here today. Uh, I know it's a nine minute long update. So thank you very much if you watched all the way to the end. First things first, let me know if you watched all the way in the end. And then if you have any questions on anything you were confused about, because I know there's a lot of ifs and uh, dynamics played into this update, please feel free to ask. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good day.